man I always enjoy talking to. Great tips. Dr. Vincent, nice to have you back. I'm very, very happy to be back. How are you, Richard? Very good, Vincent. Happy Father's Day for whole, uh, for everyone who is celebrating. Today is a very special day. Uh, happy Sunday to everyone, and I hope that you're doing well. I'm really, really happy that we're on again today. So am I. It's always good talking to you. So, um, And we do have the occasional chat off air sometimes, don't we? I know, mainly consisting of you telling me your personal best in the gym, which <laughs> makes me really, really proud and slightly, only slightly, slightly jealous. Very good. So um, most people do know I, I've been to the, uh, nearly my first anniversary of going to the, you know, killing myself at the gym. And I, I think even though you use the word killing yourself at the gym. I'm no, 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 sure. I enjoy it, people. So, yes. <laughs> I'm sure you man you you man it in a positive way because you know what all those times that you invest in the gym don't 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 chalk it off as something as time wasted. It's no, actually no. the time that you're investing in your health yep. and longevity because uh, living long is one thing, but making sure that you are living a healthy uh, la- long life is much more important because the last thing that you want to do is to live long, but you're not. You're immobile. You're not moving without yeah. pain. Yes. You're not healthy. You're not happy. So it's not only about the quantity of years, the the, the the length of time that you are living, but also the quality of your life. Yeah, and I think no matter what you do, and we, we've talked about this before, that, um, yeah, I, I do my routine, which is nearly every day of the week now, uh, apart from Sundays. Um, you know, for as long as you move, you know, you yes. don't have to do what I do. But as long as you get up and move, and it's something we've always said, isn't it? That's correct. And uh, you have to put in the time, be it in the gym, exercising, walking around the park, uh, eating healthily, making sure that you get all of your vitamins and minerals. At the end of the day, being healthy, unfortunately, is it, it's not something that's, that you automatically achieve. It's something that you have to constantly making sure that you you, you put effort, time and effort into it because – uh, our body needs looking after, and you have to make sure that you give it the best chance to function properly. Exactly right. Now, today we're going to talk about it's sunny outside here in Adelaide, wonderful day. Um, but you know what? It? There's a bit of a um, it's a bit of a hay fever time, isn't it, with allergies? That's correct. For many people, the warmer, longer days of spring can come soon enough, and we officially are in spring but for millions of australians early spring marks the beginning of yet another allergy season like you said hay fever is one of the example niffling sneezing itching wheezing and overall frustration that comes with it and this year in my opinion it's going to be a lot worse i think because the winter that we have at least here in the east coast has been unseasonally warm and this this means that all of these plants and flowers and, and trees, they they actually bloom much earlier. And these irritating symptoms that, that is associated with pollen and spring may have already started for some people. Oh, it's and it's all like everything's like it's all the plants are out here now. I know. And what I'm sorry to say this, but they may actually linger until early summer. So uh, this is something that. I myself have to deal with every day and I have to make sure that not only I remove the allergen from my environment or minimize the exposure to, to the allergen around me, but I have to make sure that my body is up to task when it comes to repelling these unwanted symptoms of, of allergens around me. And, you know, how do we do all, what were some nat- natural remedies to relieve all these symptoms? Oh, and what would, so, f- sorry. When, when we talk about allergens, where, where do we find these things? Well, allergens can mean some uh, allergens basically something that trigger your antibody. So it can it can it can originate from pollens from uh, trees. Some people are allergic to certain foods or substances, uh, be it through topical uh, coming come in contact uh, on the skin or something that you ingest. But what what becomes more prevalent during during uh, spring is something that you inhale in. That's why I I mentioned something about pollen, uh, tree, grass. Uh, basically, all of these particles that are spread by wind, insects, and birds. And while the na- while spring is the nature's time for it to 
you know, come back alive, this can also mean bad news for a lot of people because almost 20% of Australian population have allergic disease. And unfortunately, it is predicted by 2050, 2050 that the numbers of patients affected by allergic disease can increase by 70%. So clearly, there is something in the air, no pun intended, yeah. that makes us sick. <laughs> so uh, uh, while we can't change the whole environment around us, there are things that we can actually do to make sure that our body is up to task to, to protect and shield ourselves from getting the worst of the symptoms. Okay. And natural remedies, Vincent. Yes. Obviously, people with allergic reaction, especially anaphylactic reaction, need to consult their health practitioner because anaphylactic reaction is the most severe form of allergic reaction. Basically, it affects your entire body. Uh, and the, the thing that makes us more concerned is, you know, the restriction, the constriction of your uh, airways, and, and, and that can affect your breathing. And that's the reason why people who know that they have issues or severe issues with allergy reaction, they have to talk to their doctors and maybe have EpiPen ready uh, at home because that, that, that could save lives. However, for a lot of us, allergic reaction may not be less threatening, but they, they, they are still impacting our daily lives. So I, I myself uh, can be quite sensitive towards pollen. So over the years, I have sort of kind of make a list and consciously following this list, especially at the early spring into the summer. First of all, I know a lot of people, and we I actually got a lot of comments on Instagram and Facebook that, why am I obsessed with hydration and drinking water? But this is something that I can't not say because 70% of wrong. our body is water. And we need to make sure that we keep that, that up because when our body is dehydrated, it actually can't function properly. And in this particular uh, instance, when your body is dehydrated, your body produces more histamines. So histamines are actually the chemicals that cause your allergy symptoms. By simply making sure you drink enough water, that can actually help your body to fight off this allergic reaction. Now, can you just, uh, just is it okay if I go to the pub and have a couple of beers? Is that staying hydrated? I'm I would love to say yes, but <laughs> <laughs> but people tune into this segment for a reason. And unfortunately, I'm not going to say that don't drink your beer. But if I can just say, and please allow me to say this, for every beer you drink, drink a glass of water. Not only it saves money on the tap, but it actually it actually helps you to stay hydrated. That's right. And uh, your body will thank you the next day because when you stay hydrated while drinking alcohol, it actually minimize significantly the risk of you having hangover the next day. So don't listen to Uncle Richard, Peter. Uh, people say yes when it comes well, to drinking. Unless when it comes to going to the gym, because I have to say, Richard, I actually, you motivated me because I have to say that during winter, I actually didn't. I haven't been as religiously uh, attending my gym session, but whenever you text me, it actually really seriously, it serves as a reminder. I was like, no. We talk a lot about going to the gym, and if Richard can do it, I can do it too. There we go. What else have we got? We Stay hydrated, make sure you drink lots of water. Sinus rinses, because uh, neti pot, that is something that uh, for some people is life-saving. I don't have to do that, but if you have a lot of issues with your sinus, sinus rinses is really good because it serves as a natural irrigation system. It clamps up, it clamps up your system, it, it clamps up the airways, and it makes you breathe much, much better. Avoid and remove allergen. Some people invest in a good air purifier because it really does help uh, to, to eliminate those special pollen and dust mites in their environment. And make sure you do not wear clothes that have been exposed to pollen like around the house, inside your house. Showering before bed, it helps you from transferring all of those pollen into your bed and pillow. Maintaining good humidity level. So uh, humidifier is... It's a really, really great uh, tools that you use. I use that probably all through winter and a little bit into the spring because especially during winter when or colder months, when you use heater or heating elements in your, in, in your, in your bedroom, it dries out the air. And when the air is dry, it irritates your, your, your airways. And 
maintaining good humidity level in the room or in the house is actually really important in reducing and minimizing the risk of triggering your allergy level, uh, allergy reaction. Do humidifiers and, you know, we've got to say humidifiers and, um, I've forgotten the other word I was looking for, do they, they take much power to run? Uh, they do. However, you can run them on the cycle. I know that, and, and, and believe it or not, I actually look into this because obviously uh, for, for our household, the energy bill has gone up as high as 28%. I actually Air, air purifier was the other one. So, it's, I mean, energy bills are ridiculous around the country. It, it is, unfortunately. And, uh, I mean, obviously we all want to go into the renewable energy, but at the same time we also have to make sure that it doesn't hit our it doesn't affect our bottom line in terms of our our household budget so uh most the most humidifier and air purifier can run on the cycle so obviously when you go during the day when you go in and out of the house it doesn't really matter what i find that that six to eight hours when you are asleep when you're actually breathing uh in the air in your bedroom especially or if you have like small kids, they, they're, they're really affected by the dryness of the air. Those are the crucial hours that you need to run your air purifier and humidifier because those are the times that your body can benefit the most. Uh, so don't run it throughout the day. I don't think that's necessary. It, it will only make a marginal uh, improvement to the quality of the air. But during the night when you're asleep, I really do think that that's money well spent. And you've got a couple of natural foods to combat allergies, haven't you? That's correct. Things that are rich in antioxidants, such as apples, green tea, apple cider vinegar is especially very useful because not only it clears out the mucus, but it also supports lymphatic drainage. And this is very important because lymphatic drainage basically making sure that your body doesn't retain unnecessary water. And we might not know it uh Instinct, instinctively, but when your body is retaining unnecessary water, it makes everything harder uh, in, in your biological system, including your breathing rhythm, your breathing system. So making sure that everybody, everything in your body is working properly is the first step towards making sure that your body can fight off and shield you from this allergy reaction. Well, I still can't get over the matter of fact, you know, the amount of people that are going to be suffering by, you know, in the next few years. It just, you know, it's a staggering amount. Great, great if you sell antihistamines. You'd be rubbing your hands with glee. That, yeah, I know. But unfortunately, unless, unless uh, there is something that's drastically changed in terms of our environment, this is, some, this is the reality that we have to make sure that our body, in terms of our biological reaction, is ready for. And while we can't control everything that is outside of our body or outside of our home, we can always control what happens inside our body and inside our home. And I think, especially if you have young ones at home, uh, this is something that you can do at home to make sure that when your kids go out there, their body is ready in terms of protecting them from uh, things that can trigger the allergy reaction. Vincent, great advice as always. Wonderful to talk to you again. And we will be chatting soon. Where can we find out more about you? Thank you so much. If you want to find out about my research, what I do, and uh, our small business that support Australian apple farm farmers, please go to anappladay.com.au or find us in the vitamins aisle or skincare aisle of Woolworths and Coles. Vincent, couldn't have said it better myself. You have a good rest of the weekend and hopefully we'll talk next week. Thank you so much. Happy weekend. Thanks, Vincent. That was Dr. Vincent with some more great advice. Always enjoy talking to him.